I'm a day late again, but I just had to tell this story that happened. Uh, this week's lesson, answer to prayers, really happens. Answer to, and also rewards for our hard work. So we're out tracking like normal, last Friday. And blah, 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 all day long, like seven hours straight, whatever. Finally, it's getting close to the evening time. We knock a door, this kid opens up, it looks like he's 16 or something like that. Start talking to him, yeah, believe in God, but we believe he died or something like that, I don't know. He sounded like we probably weren't going to get through to him anywhere. We're about to leave. His mom comes walking off the elevator towards the apartment. You're like, oh, como esta? She didn't say anything to us. Like, glanced at us, walked through the door. You know, so. I also learned not to judge people on the first impression because you can't do it. Um, right when we were kind of wrapping up with a kid, and she said, yeah, well, this is on Spanish from the neighborhood of Chile. Well, you know, you know, how do you know the Bible's true? How do you know your church is right? You know, and it's like we can answer that question if you just let us in for a few minutes. A few minutes turned into an hour and a half. Somehow, I started talking to this woman one on one, and my companion in the same room talking with her son one on one. And an hour and a half later, I mean, even just 15 minutes after we got in the door. The enmity, that that wall there, just fell down, just completely broke down. And how do you you don't you know the accusations and the and the wall there that I'll never get baptized in their religion, religion is wrong, just dissolved. The questions started becoming, how do you become? What do you have to do to be a member? What's this book? How do you know it? You know, what does he know? This church is true, you know. Uh, I obviously am not the scriptorian that my companion is, um, but I also found the power of testimony. It's very strong. I just looked at her in the eyes and testified that everything that I knew was true. And I said, I know it. I know this is true. And I know that she believed me too. She just, she just, I could see, you, you could see in people's eyes, you know, when they're, you know, I mean, it's obvious if they're going like, you know, or they're not believing you, but she was. She was really, she was digging it. She was believing it. And it, was, and it was good. And she actually committed to read the Book of Mormon. And it's, it's one of those commitments you can tell her not fake because, you know, she reads the Bible every day. And now she's going to read the Book of Mormon and the Bible together to compare it. And, uh, very exciting. And even if something happens, temptation gets to her, she doesn't, she doesn't take the commitment, full, take the commitments and take the Charles and just knowing that we found someone and that it does happen that we do actually get to teach because it's been I don't know how long since we've taught someone from knocking it's been months but but until that situation you know it's like enough fuel to keep going forever for a long time and it's it's restored my faith in this work I'm happy about that and work's going easier now and uh, it's good all is well. That's enough.